Welcome YouTube um, to the second stream of today and now we're going to take a first play and first impressions of Arcus Path. Um, this copy of the game was provided to me by the developers um, but I'm not paid for my opinion so I will be just playing it and telling you what I think. Um, I have played the game slightly before um, back at EGX and I also talked to the lead creative um, producer back at um, EGX, uh, which there RPM is a GFX link in the description says, down below. Yo, what's up? Hey, how you doing? It's the first play. Um, well, it's my second play because I've played the first level at uh, EGX earlier this year. Um, which you can, of course, see the uh, 360 video uh, of my interview RPM with GFX the uh, says, lead I corrupt there. Windows 10 last week, so that's fun. I'm using my brother's old PC. Not quite as powerful, but it gets the job done. Anyways, excited <laughs> oh, for the stream. Dude. Okay, well, we're going to try and get straight into it. Simple thing, uh, where is it available? This game is available on every format, and I mean... Every VR format that's out there, this game is available for. Simple controls, it's not actually using these controls, it's head controlled because uh, I'm playing on the Oculus Rift, but it's available for the uh, PSVR, it's available for the Gear VR, it's available for the Go, it's available on Vive, it's available through Steam, it's RPM available GFX through Viveport, a whole lot. Even Google Cardboard. Mm, that one I don't think so because it is a look based game and it's quite sensitive. So Ga Google Cardboard I think they may have missed out on, but it is available for the um, the other heads that they do, that Google do I think. Um, what do you call it? The Daydream. I think it might be available for the Daydream as well. Um, don't quote me on that one. But pretty much everything RPM, else. GFX, but possibly says, not cardboard. Oh, okay. So, um, it is available for a lot. Uh, we're going to just begin the story because I do like the graphical style of this game. It's very, very prettily done. It's got a nice sort of um, graphic novel style to it. We're going to begin the story in here. So, I don't actually need the controls, I only have the controls for, for one thing there. Oh yeah, published by Rebellion. Um, you have a very good name in terms of uh, games. RPM GFX says, by the way, I won't be able to type in chat since I'm training in boxing VR, but it'll be listening. Cool, thank you. RPM GFX says, from now on, it's CYA, but still here. <laughs> Oh, there's some stuff being trashed. I love this whole style of stuff. Thanks for um, the advice on that. I hope, hopefully, my commentary runs well. And uh, good luck on your training in boxing VR. So we're in um, a bit of a desolate world here. Doesn't look like she's having a good time. This is our main character. and she finds something, so very much like a VR headset. I love the graphic style, I love the way of doing it. The Amazing it. Lesby says, Hi, hi. Hello, The Amazing LSB. How are you doing? Talking of I, I, she's got her own eyes on. We've got our eyes on. And I get the googly eyes on. LSB is in the channel. You can go check his channel out at some point as well. We always share the VR love. So, here we are. This is the first level. This is how we play the game. So we can see our character there. And it's literally uh, aim gaze. So we have a triangle. And you can see there's like a difference. It just makes like a different, like a uh, full white. And then it goes more precise, like there. We're going to do that and we get transformed by the magic of VR into a rolly 
sphere. I did ask the, the, the lead uh, designer what type of uh, sphere that is in my interview, which is in the description. This bit's going to get basic. I mean, art style-wise, this is lovely. It's very different in terms of dealing with stuff. I mean, with VR and video games in the past, popping's always been a thing. Um, here, popping isn't a thing. They build in. They don't pop in, they build in. That's a, a nice look. So they really have made a nice sort of uh, stylistic decision. So I can pause the game just by pushing this button, like that. And then I can go free look. So I can take a look around me. As you can see where we've been, the, the scenery has disappeared away. And where I'm going, it it's to be built. And where I am, it's been built. So it's a beautiful uh, visual style to it. And I can do it on both. So basically, if I press either the button there or the button there. So I have free look, or I can just resume. Or, I can hold one of these buttons around, and then that's just a straight to cut, you know, shortcut to pre-look. And it tells me that there, so I can do that, which is that. So, I think, first decision, I wish that that was uh, quicker, because I'm not using, uh, I, I wish I could just tap that quicker than that, especially since that one doesn't pause it. That one I think is better a better way to do it, the pause button. So uh, anyone playing, I think you're better off using the pause and then free look. Because the free look there seemed to uh, take a bit to kick in. So I do like, uh, let's talk about the motion. So it's like a, a magnet thing basically. The, the, the sphery thing gets attracted to it. So the finer degree, closer we are to it, the more finesse we've got. Basically, if I put my uh, view directly on the ball, it's going to stop straight away. So it's got a very nicely finessed view to it. Very simple game at the, the start. Now I know that you can replay this, and I know that there is some um, scoreboards. So if you've got friends playing this, you can see what your friends got and try to beat them. And of course, just try to beat your own as well. We've not been introduced to some of the hidden jewels around here yet. Gateway Studios says, "Hey Salsa, Jim and Jamet says, Hey Whitway. Hello, Jimmy. Everybody coming along. Whitway, how are you doing? Uh, anybody who hasn't checked out uh, Whitway's game, um, People Cured, Jim that's a, a good says, fun game to play This is my play jam, well. grinning face with big eyes. I enjoyed this a lot. Nice. Yeah, I saw your stream. Uh, anybody who hasn't catched Rare some of uh, Jimmy, says, hey, you can see that. Hey VR Realm, how you doing? Uh, how did it go on uh, the uh, different things that you had to fix? Hopefully did okay there. But yeah, uh, Studios also... Says, grinning face face with tears of joy. Good, we should do another um, People Cured stream uh, some other time as well because uh, I think maybe closer to Christmas because we need some groaner, groaner jokes. We know that you have the humour in there, and we all like a good Christmas character joke. 
So we've got Time Trial Unlocked. So we can do that as a time trial. I'm playing on the Oculus Rift at the minute, so uh, unfortunately I won't be able to see uh, any of my PSVR friends' uh, scores. Says, Spent a few hours on this one grinning face with big eyes. Jim at Demeth says, I hope that everyone has had a great day. Yeah. Yes, we all do hope we have had a great day. I'm hoping, obviously, VR Realm has uh, managed to sort out uh, problems from uh, last evening which prevented him from streaming. Right, so we're going to continue on. Nice, simple, it works Test Gamer very well. 100 says, Yay, thank you. The VR Realm says, all sorted beaming face with smiling eyes tested the stuff with PC and PSVR stream. Keeping the connection now, replaced my TP link. Cool. So it's even networking. Oh damn, that must have really killed. Having no networking is hell for a streamer, isn't it? So we've got crystals now, so we want to capture crystals. Now at the moment it's kind of safe, they've made this bit very safe for us to get through. Introducing the gameplay, build up the, G the speed, and as it goes on it's going to get more and more deadly. Oh we've got a jump! There we go, there's a jump, so we can go save point, grab a crystal, and then we can go, oh, I think that way. We've got to jump that way and one that way. So we grab this, this crystal. Then I'm going to come back. The VR realm and we're going to get this way. Yup, tried wireless last night for a quick test on stream and dropped loads. So made sure it was sorted, Todd. I. The VR realm says, asterisk today. Test gamer 100. I got you there, says, dude. I gonna buy HTC wireless. Oh yeah, wireless is uh, really cool. Right, do we go left or we go right? Well, we're we'll gonna have to come back no matter what, because there's a crystal to get. And Midway we might Studios get the crystal. says, What did you think of wireless at VR realm? Another crystal ready for a jump. It takes a bit of skill to watch out for the uh, motion on this thing. Because it's physics based, it's not like. Um, it feels like it just attracts in a nice way, so. I do like how it's feeling. Yay! Yeah, I don't think um, VR Realm has uh, wireless in that way. Um, what it's talking about is his uh, network connection last night uh, went away. But yeah, Test Gamer is going to go for the HTC wireless, the thing that looks like a samurai. Uh, you can get TP wireless. The VR um, realm connection for this, says, but oh sorry, I mean a wireless connection on streaming PC for internet. Certainly need wired for stream. Yeah, just as I was saying, um, but it is one of those things. If anybody who has tried uh, tetherless VR can tell you it does feel amazing. Cause, I mean, at the moment I'm seated and I've got my tether, even when I'm standing and doing re room scale. It can feel uh, still very good and immersive, but you are always aware of the wire. As soon as you lose that wire and you go to full room scale VR without a tether, it does give you Midway that extra Studios freedom says, where you just go, Our wow. I follow smiling face with smiling eyes. We have a TP cast beef kit, but it's a little buggy. Yeah. The um, HTC wireless uh kit with the like samurai thing on top 
um, antenna antennae uh, is supposed to be really really good a little bit better on the connection um, I did have 100. a chance to wait Says, for some of it but I fully yeah. agree I played in a time and missed it now that's why I want it face with tongue yeah um, I was fortunate enough um, to also try sort of like larger room scale multiplayer uh, full body tracked um, VR games in Tokyo uh, in particular Ghost in the Shell and that uses the um, laptop um, laptop the uh, backtop should I say the backpack PC so you have your backpack your full on backpack uh, and the very short tether because obviously it's the, the actual computing power is on your back and you had a, a very large scale space for four versus four, player versus player, real time in a real space, um, and all in VR. And it was from uh, Ghost in the Shell, and that is an incredible experience to do something like that. It really does um, put it out there as a VR experience. Here, uh, obviously, we're using this type of VR experience, which is great. I do love the graphic style from here. We're going to continue and hopefully get to some of the store, more of the story. The VR realm after this says, next one. Right, I need to get off for a bit. Catch you all later. The VR realm says, left a like grinning face with big eyes. Thank you, kind sir. That's very good Great of you. Way Studios says, laters. Let's get our virtual ball rolling. Ed Star One subscribe says Hey, hey Test Gamer Star. 100 says How you doing? So, have to leave. It's 11 in Germany. Good night, face with tongue. Burden Ed Star One subscribe. Good night, have says, a good uh, how are you? breath. I'm doing well, how are you? And anybody who's uh, joining the stream who hasn't checked out Burden Star as well, Whitway Studios says Go check hey, out Burden Ed Star One. She's got some different things on there as well. Uh, if you want to see some build of her Wonder Woman outfit, that is really cool. That's on there. Also, a few other things. I can't remember what the last VR game you played. I did watch it back. See, they're disappearing the edges now. And we've got more sounds happening. Burdened Star One subscribe says, "Doing well. Thanks for the shout out." You're welcome. Whitway Studios says, "Watch her re seven big smiling face with sunglasses." This is getting trickier. Oh, what's going to be the most efficient way up? That's the one that I want to take. Getting more complicated. We've got decisions over which way we want to go now. Oh, what's forming? Wow. Oh, 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 oh. I almost, I almost dropped it. There's a lot of like. Oh, 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 no, 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 no! Burdened Star One subscribe. Ah. Says, Thanks, Whitway. Burdened Star One subscribe. Says, My Red Dead parody is hilarious. 
<laughs> People can find those streams out oh, later. It's pretty epic as well doing the whole of um, your first VR stream, which was um, RE7 in one sitting. I still haven't finished all of that. I was like, whoa. Whitway Studios says, actually shout it out loud as you fell then salsa. Oh uh, yeah. I have a tendency to get emotional about that. <coughs> Bird and Ed Star One subscribe says, game looks fun. Yeah, and a lot trickier than you'd expect. I mean, obviously, there's been a number of sort of uh, marble esque uh, games, and Studios, games and stuff. Says, Not seen the RDR parody yet. Star will do though. Thumbs up. I have a new in item in my. How do I get up? Come on, go, go, go. I need that RPM to be a clean entrance. Says, just finished two matches, six rounds, one both obviously, haha. But my brother's PC sounds like a hairdryer or an XDD. Oh damn, dude. Says, push. Whitway Studios. Says, <laughs> push it real good. Dun, 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 I've got to be careful. I'll, I'll get a copyright strike if I keep on doing that. But she real good. <laughs> Must stop doing that. You got me started now. Oh, oh, that is tricky. Now it's getting harder. It looks so easy and simple. And mechanically, this game is, you know, made to seem very simple, but that was tricky. Whitway Studios says, Not if you stay that far, are a tomb buddy grinning, squinting face. Save point. We're safe. Oh. Need to pause for a moment. Wow. Let's have a free look around. Oh, look at the height. So, you know that there's a way, I think the blue trail, you can see bits of the blue, blue trail is where I was. I need a little bit of drink. We're on the hard stuff today, water. Good bit of H2O, does she good? Ah, uh, well, uh, <laughs> are you saying that I st stay very far away from the tube? I have another problem that, that I normally have another particular song that usually sticks in my head. And now I'm going to curse you all by giving you a rendition of it if you're not careful. And then you'll have that stuck in your head as well. Because I've had the, the one song, you know, we all have these one songs that get stuck in our head uh, for so many years. The one that's always been stuck in my head was brought to us by the Muppets. Yes. It's, it's a, a Muppet-based song that just goes... And that's the one that constantly Whitway gets stuck Studios in mind. says, Please go on grinning, squinting face. Whitway Studios says, Phenomenon. Yes. Phenomenon. 
malam malam papa papa malam 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 papa papa and that has been stuck in my head for so Star many years subscribe says do you guys ever feel like your sub count is staying stale even though you're making videos witway studios yeah says, that always happens do, 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 do. you do and 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 then other times different things go up that is uh, the way it goes i'm afraid <coughs> but um, we shall move on from the pause. We, we want one pause. Resume. Right, let's get rolling. The amazing Leslie rolling, rolling, says, rolling. Asterisk Keep does it for the love, not the views. Asterisk. True. Whitway Studios. But it's nice says, when you get them. Phenomenon. Do 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 do. <laughs> Whitway is started and can't stop. What have I created? I've created a monster. You start singing that around your wife, she's gonna kill you. Bird and Ed Star One subscribe. Says. Good way to look at it, the amazing LSB. Oh yeah. Definitely. You do it for the fun, everything else like that. Um, but it is nice to get good comments, it's nice to get a comment, it's nice to have a view, it's nice to get a bit of a chit chat going with things. Uh, definitely how you meet a uh, good few people in this bit. Whitway Studios says if it wasn't so hard to spell phenomenon, I would do it more face with tears of joy. The amazing Lesbie says, If I was in it for views, I would have quit years ago. Yeah, same as. Oh, oh, close, close, close. Got it. So tricky. Yes. Oh, that was good. I like that downhill bit. Those downhill hill bits rock. So I went down the right path. There's a left path as well. So I'm guessing my other uh, Bird and three Star One subscribe parts are going to be says, that way. Colon closing parenthesis. For such a simple game, this this feels really good. I have seen comments from people going, you know, Bird oh, it's, one it's past certain point. Says, going to grab some lunch. Really like the stream as always. Thank you very much. Very kind of you. And people don't forget. Obviously, there are links to Whitway people's. Studios uh, says, it's tricky to rock a rhyme. To rock a rhyme, that's right on time. <laughs> Don't get me started. Whitway Studios tricky, tricky, says, tricky. See our star. The amazing Lesby says, "Drops a beat." Drops a beat. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that is that is just wow. Taking us back. Bird and Ed so Star one subscribe says, "Ha ha, by Evie one." Right, we're going to continue. I really like the feel of this game in terms of mechanics. It's a simple mechanic. I know there's going to be people out there that are going, you know, it's a rolling mechanic, it's done with your head. They've done it so nicely. It just feels nicely made and well done. The polish in this game is is what sets it apart from uh, some other games I've seen. Uh, 
got seriously nice graphic style. I'm gonna have to have a a, a throat. A, her throat is going a bit. <coughs> Excuse me. Just going to uh, grab a little sweet. Of course, we had uh, awards the other day. I'm, of course, at the moment wearing my lovely quill t-shirt from Moss. Oh, what did I do? I continued. Did I? Or not? Whitway Studios says, <coughs> some whiskey will sort that out, buddy. Mmm. Some whiskey will probably sort it out. We'll try one of these first. Right. Did I just restart the same one? I thought I did. Yeah, I recognise this one. Let's uh, just go to main menu. It says lose all progress. I hope that's uh, actually... There we go. I can start there. Oh, dystopia. So we've gone from nice green and now we're in somewhere that's... Uh, a bit darker. That's not good, is it? So it's not all fun and games. Ah. I'll have to come back and do that again later. I like they give replayability. E no. I can come back to... I've got the one that was there. So I can be completionist and actually allow myself to fall on purpose. Wow, okay. If you're really good, you could probably speed run that part. Got it. Demet says, Sorry, folks, gotta go sort some shopping out. I'll have a good stream. Jim at Demet. Take care, Jim. Says, thanks for coming take along. Care all. And people don't forget to check out Jimmy. Uh, Jim at Whitway uh, Studios says, See ya, Jim. Don't forget to check out Jim's channel. Uh, you should be able to find him on my featured list and if not out there around things. Oh, rolling to this is a new mechanic. I haven't done this mechanic before so I have to roll into this to activate that which gives me a way forwards. My simple gameplay just constantly adding to the uh, different things to keep track of. RPM GFX says GTG sorry CYA. Oh, I'll have to read that back in a moment. Oh, that made me nervous. I didn't think I was going to make those. Okay, take care. Thanks for jumping in. Uh, so that's where I got to get to, I guess. Or oh, oh, these looks teleporty, doesn't it? You got a checkpoint. We go this way, up across there, because that one was a dead end. 
We need to bump up there. Can we? Yes, we can. Get enough speed up and you can bump up there. Continuing on. Another dystopian level. We went left last time and we go right this time. Take a bit of a look around. Sorry, you know, stand up. We're gonna go over there a moment. I think yes. We're gonna go up, round that way, and then back. Because I want to get that. We missed that one from over there. But we might be able to get it from up there. See which way that goes. that bit. I think I go back this way and then go up there. So I can go back here. So many options of ways around. This this is a nice touch of level design. different way to build the game graphics in as well. It's not so much popping, it's building. It really is quite satisfying. Oh, that's a bit of a jump. No! Failure! Right, come on, we can go that way this time. I think that way's safer. I didn't get that good on timing, did I? Yeah, visually, I have to say, it's an impressive game. It's as sharp as anything. But it'll also work, I think it'd be pretty sharp on pretty much anything. So they've got a, a definite way of optimising. No! I needed to accelerate speed there.
Midway Studios. Ooh. There's certain bits you really need to get the uh oh, Come on, make it, come on. Come on, make it, make it, get that, get that, get that, yeah. We're gonna go this way. There's a definite skill to getting this moving momentum right. There's another one over there. I can't see. Sorry, I got an itchy nose. Ooh. Okay. We're good to go. So there's another one over to our left here. So we're going to continue on the left, even though I just failed that bit up miserably after talking about the skill required to get around well I then demonstrated the means by how not to do it I can hear there's one off to the left there I need to free look so that's the end of the level that way There's one there that I could get, or I can go that way, grab that one, then grab that one, come back, uh, grab one there. I think I'm best off getting this one here and then going back around. I think that makes sense. I'm not trying to be completionist at all. Yeah, right. And if you believe that, you'll believe anything. Oh. oh. So much on edge. It gave me the nerve that any game that can get your nerves going a bit really does work well. Oh no 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 no! Ah! Right, come on. I know I could just end it and go quicker towards the end of the level. I want the bits. I, I want to collect all of the parts. All of the gems that I can manage to get, I want to get. Hopefully we got all of them. Did we get all of them? Fifteen? Yes, we got fifteen.
And of course, if you're just joining the stream, welcome. Um, if you haven't been before, uh, please press subscribe, press like. You know, just like if you don't like. I'm enjoying this game. I'm, I actually like the mechanic very well. It's been well made. Of course, there are many other games that have like a games following mechanic. But this one really does have that balance down where you, it's got that tricky element to it. Um, I want to see more of the story unfold as well, so that's kind of cool. Right. Um, oh, and don't forget, thumbs up, like, shares are very appreciated. Comment, uh, and you'll get robot voice assigned and... I can hear you in my earbuds and we can hear you. And that's really cool if you have any questions, because I like to answer questions. Right. And obviously comments. Comments, questions, they're all good. I try to answer pretty much everything. That looks dodgy. Yeah, that's dodgy. Witway Studios says, you can make the robot voice rap. You can make the robot voice rap. As Witway has proved. Sound design in here is really quite nice as well. I love how you can see just in the background. Oh no! Wigway Studios says, I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. Oh, you went there? You went there. I'm not going to go there. Okay. No, I just missed it. It's like this combination of uh, look to move, roll, mechanic, puzzle, direction. Gotta use your eyes to look around here more, which is uh, a bit more unusual in VR. Because your head movement is going to uh, change things. Oh ho, ho, ho. I'm glad they didn't they didn't do an open end there. That that would have really got me. You want 
to go up top here. Timing. making me nervous oh. and we have even more of the dystopian type world this one no 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 oh no we can get that one though. Straight down. Feels far. There is something very fast, you know, very, very satisfying with the physics here. It's been so well made. Just so, so well made. Oh, big sort of beam there. Want to drop down gently onto that. There we go. And that's going to take us up there. And we're beaming out. Oh. Oh, I missed one. Wonder where I missed it. I'll come back and get it later. We've got another dystopian level. There is a lot of levels already. I was expecting another story bit in the middle here somewhere. Must check that out. I hope I haven't missed the story. I mean, this has gone from like a nice happy place to not so happy there. It's like the the parts of it are a bit broken. So obviously the story has started, dystopian future. I will say I wish that one of my buttons was the straight up free look that paused it straight away to go to. But look at that. I would actually take the timer off of that free look and make it an instant pause. So you can just dump. I mean, I can do the other button as an instant pause and then look at the free look. But I think gameplay wise, especially if I wanted to do a speed run, it would be good to be able to go pause, dun, look around, right, go. Right, we ready?
this whole move gaze thing as well. Uh, I know it looks pretty simple, but it's just... Right. This way, I think. I think this way. Yep. Trying to get find a control. Did I miss one down there or is that going to come later? Am I up here to then go down lower later? Oh, there's a gap there. That was daring, wasn't it? Felt daring. Sound design's really good. I know there's something there off to my left. So I'm going to watch out for that because I don't want to do the free lift. There we go. There it is. And again, there's another one around there. I'm going to come this way. So the, the sound design is done really well so that I can tell where some things are. without having to look um, though that doesn't mean that at other times I don't need to I need to look there what do you do there there was a safe point oh what have I been put into a dead end have I been hoodwinked Oh, no, there's one of those things. I almost forgot about that mechanic. So we need to push one of these. And that gives us the way forwards. miss that quite easy. Let me do that to start activating things. I do love the sound in this game, it's just done so well. There's been a lot of games out recently that have obviously got sound and interaction uh, from the sound design I think has taken a step up recently. Like VR has obviously the visual element to it, but Sound as an issue does come in really well as well, and this is a, a good illustration of how sound can be leveraged as well, because the sound design in here, everything is crystal clear, it's spot on, that three-dimensional uh, sound that you get in there, it just works. It really is working very well with this. Right. I want a story bit. Oh, 
I want that way as well because we're going to be completionists and look for things there. See, I think that as a brake block would only break from one direction from the looking of it. But I could have been wrong, I could go the other way as well. You have to be careful if you've got an itch at any point with this game. Because obviously it's done on this look mechanic, so if you look in the wrong way at the wrong time to scratch an itch or anything else like that, it's gonna basically get you. Oh. So we're going to go get that one. I think you have to go to the left because that's got a hard back on it. So I'm guessing you can only break it from the side which has the break on it. And that way would stop me. So I'm going to go through the left that way. Actually, I'm going to test that out, see if I'm right or wrong. And I am right. It's nice to be right. Of course, it's a good trait in life as well, if you are wrong, to admit that you're wrong. But in this case, I was right. Yay! And... Oh... This is where the precision can, is going to come in. No! I got the wrong one! So I want to go to the right. Made it! That is cool. I feel like evil can evil of the orb world. I'm showing my age by saying about evil can evil. No, I missed. I failed. Right through the middle. That felt very satisfying. Got that. I missed one. Oh, I missed one. I could go back and do that, but, uh, like I say. I will do that again, another point. I will be more completionist later. Oh, still very dystopian. I'm surprised I haven't seen more of the stories. Just an exit to the main menu at the moment. Uh, yeah. So I'm sure I'd see more story. See, there's the story that I thought I'd missed. Here we go, there's the story. See, it was breaking. I love this style of things as well. I should do another stream that shows, um, wedding rings and things or whatever. Um, there was a VR comic book that was made by uh, Square that uh, really loved how it put things together. Right, so this is the old one that thing. There's a robot bird. A drone robot bird that spotted that. And she's walking us away. We've got nothing because we we're on a scrap heap. So 
so that had broken. She's fixed it, but then we have a dystopian levels that we've been going through. There we go. So then we went back in going, yes, we got that, but it, it looked a bit dystopian. She seems a bit dodgy. She definitely seems like the type to give you a poison apple. I do like that whole thing there. Right, so we know that that's that. Um, I've already been through this level, but I'm going to go to main menu. And we're going to do continue. And then hopefully, that'll take us to the new level and put the story in. You have to go down one of these. Whitway Studios says, Got to head off now, buddy. Enjoy the rest of the stream and watch out for poison apples. Oh, yes. We don't want to be having any of the poison apples. Thank you very much for joining, Whitway. And anybody who's in the stream, if you haven't checked out the video of people cured, check that out. We are going to play that again and get some lovely bad jokes in the mix. And uh, search out for People's Cured. It's a good, fun game that can really uh, put you under a bit more pressure than you'd believe. So. You like a bit of a puzzle uh, solving uh, with a little bit of time on it now and again? Then check that game out. Some blocks can be pushed. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. See, they're stepping up the mechanics here again. But really, thanks for joining Whitway. Um, Whitway Studios says, People cubed. Christmas update out now and on sale. 10% off. Thumbs up, thumbs up. I keep on saying cured. I don't know why. It's just the backwards three thing in it. I keep on going, cured. Uh, it, thinking like a capital R. But it's people cubed. But I keep on calling it people cured. And it has very funky music at the beginning. That, that definitely tells you, I think you need to... Is it the brushing teeth thing? Yeah. With the counting. 10% off sale. Christmas update. Oh yeah, I saw there was an update. I'll have to check that out. Ah, it's a Christmas update. Does that mean you're going to make it snow, lake it snow, lake it snow? But, important thing, sale, 10% off. Good, good, good. So, uh, Steam and Viveport for People Cubed. But, we're going to get back into this, which I am enjoying a lot. Uh, I think the quality in this game is showing. Whitway Studios says, Cheers, buddy. Night. No problem. Take care. Thank you for joining.
jump, for the jump. Go that way. This game gives you that mix of precision controls needed. One right the way over there, and then one there, so I can go straight across to get that one. Then I need to come back this way and down that way, so I may as well go that. I need to smash that to get back quickly, so smash that one, go to that one, then to that one, get that end one that's over there, and then get that one that's there. Fortunately, some of the obstacles that I moved have already been moved, so that's good. Get some control, Salsa. No! I hate going off the edge. I like the jumps. That's so close. But when you just go tip off the edge when you don't want to. So much trickier than it looks. Oh, it's got me leaning forwards. That's good. That's a good sign. I'm trying to rest back a little. Otherwise, <laughs> my shoulders are going to go. Oh, we're going to go to the right, I think. That's a little bit of an odd sensation, I have to say. Yep, so I can go back that way.
like Oh, I'm missing one. There is. I knew I was hearing something else in the sound there. The tingle. Breathtaking pipe to fall from. How am I going to get speed up for that one? Haste sometimes makes waste, and then other times you just need the flora. Oh. oh, I see how we have to do this. Can get enough speed up the other before. Oh, that was kind of satisfying, but at the same time, I missed the load. I need to be faster. But that is really, really satisfying. Ooh. Again, that sound design really is paying off well. So I think I'm always done for the one sitting. I have this level. And I might then end up continuing off stream so that I can film bits and get to the end and do uh, a proper review on this. So obviously this is a first impression and my impression of this one is really good uh, it's not that expensive of game as well it's been over a tenner I think I think it's like uh, I can't recall what the pricing is I know that's really bad of me I'm not sure of the length of this game as well so I do want to play it through the end I think it's about the 13, 14 grid mark. And the quality here just really does show. It's such a simple game mechanic. I know there's a few people out there that may go, ah, oh, I, I don't want to do the simplest McCain mechanic, but it's, it's so well made. And when something is really well made, it can hook you in. And this one has got me quite I don't think I can give a better impression 
for a first playthrough as when you go, yeah, I really like this and I am thinking I'm getting a bit cool. I want to see the next story bit. I want to see where the story is going as well. I do love the graphical style of this. that little dark um, dead zone. So when you come to a complete stop, it goes from that nice blue, sort of like that uh, very dark grey, so that you know that you're uh, become sort of like four. Ooh, oh, oh, look, check that out. That looks good, right. Ready to roll. Oh, that's tricky. Back there, grab that, there we go. Going down the downhill bit has its own totally separate skill that I have not quite got yet. Check this out. This bit wants you to make a jump. Oh, that's so daring. No. I love that it's got some skill base for this, like, proper skill base. Oh, that's just slightly off. I keep on just missing it. There we go. You you couldn't see that. My hands are like ah. soundtrack does sound good. It, the soundtrack actually reminds me it's got shades of um, shades of Blade Runner mixed with uh, so Blade Runner which is um, I can't remember who written, wrote Blade Runner's music but I'm getting with a V uh, like Vangelis or something uh, 
So, Blade Runner mixed with Tron as a musical basis behind here, as an influence, really is very pleasing. Yes. I believe you can download the music as well, actually, if you really like the, the music. Right. I'm going to call it a night for this one. Um, let's go back into the main menu. Ah, I love the design. So what can we say about um, Arcus Path as an overall conclusion for today's stream? Um, I, I just want to say it's just so well done. Um, the polish really shows through. The gameplay is very, very simple. There's no two ways about it. It's ultra simplistic gameplay. There's nothing more that I can say about that on that case. You look where you want to move, but it's been made so well, and you, it tells, it feels right. It just feels so well balanced and well made. Um, the level design flows nicely. There's the story arc that I'm interested in. Um, I want to know where that goes. I do like the whole idea of uh, comic book style things in VR. Uh, a nice illustration and it, it, that, that type of thing just makes this all work really, really well. So, um, yeah. If you're looking for something that's uh, a simplistic game that anybody could play or pick up, Here's one that you can play uh, from pretty much any headset. Um, yeah, really, really are enjoying our Path VR. I think it's a good example uh, of how to make a game just screen quality. Nice little uh, first party indie studio title. Uh, done well. Uh, I think we've got uh, credits around there somewhere. We had credits around there somewhere. Just a second. Where are the... If I go to the options, I have the credits. Uh, here you go. Dream Reality Interactive. Um, there, it's all theirs. Um, so, Creative Lead. We've spoken... I've spoken to the Creative Lead. Uh, which you can see in the description down below. There is a link to the 3D, uh, 3D, sorry, the 360 video uh, that I took with uh, this game's um, creative lead. Um, obviously, it's their first all-in-house developed game, um, and that is then uh, got production by um, Rebellion. Rebellion is very well known and well regarded as well. Uh, you can see different people here as well, like uh, different things here. So that's a lot of quality assurance. Well done quality assurance, because the quality is here. So yeah. Definitely, definitely think some great stuff there. We'll go back to here. So yeah, if you're looking for um, a simplistic gameplay thing that has nice visuals, nice music, uh, simple but well-made gameplay, Arcus Path VR. Um, it really is working well for me. I'm going to stop the stream there. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, there's going to be a subscription uh, button that way. I can't look that way because I want to 
keep... Oh, well, I can look that way, because I can look. It's going to be over there. It's a Twitch button. Over there. And there's going to be a video, like, up there. And there's going to be another video, like, over there. And just remember, keep on...